Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at stories making news on this Sunday morning. First, this the victims involved in a deadly jet crash in Naples have now been identified. Deputies say 50 year old pilot Edward Murphy and 65 year old second in command Ian Hoffman died in that crash Friday. Cameras rolling as that jet was engulfed in flames, causing a fireball on I 75. The three other victims who were also on board at the time were taken to the hospital in Naples. The jet took off from Ohio. It was headed for Naples. After that, it was supposed to fly back to Fort Lauderdale, where the charter round trip originated to Ohio. The cause of the crash is still under investigation as both of the engines were out when that jet crashed. Former City of Miami Commissioner Sabina Covo under investigation for her allegations of bribery, according to an executive order signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. According to the Miami Herald, Covo says she has yet to be informed of this investigation or contacted by authorities and reportedly claims to have no idea what these allegations are about. Covo says she is now in contact with a lawyer and that she will continue to seek advice on the best path forward to ensure she's properly cleared. Police have officially arrested and charged a husband accused of fatally stabbing his wife in a home with five children inside. 62-year-old Jorge Jose Sinclair is now facing charges of second degree murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police say the SWAT team had to coax him out of that home that he barricaded himself inside of after that stabbing. And an alleged motorcycle thief under arrest. Police say Lazaro Fabian was caught on camera stealing a 2022 blue Yamaha in Coral Springs earlier this week. Authorities say Fabian used an electric saw to cut the motorcycle's lock off before taking off with it. He's facing one count of grand theft auto. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air, but also online. You can head to our website, local10.com, for more.